There's a scene from the movie Get Out where the protagonist is sitting in a chair and he's being hypnotized. He realizes he can't move. And then he is told to sink as he watches his life through a TV screen that gets smaller and smaller. He's falling into an abyss, to nothingness. He can't move, he can't think, he can only observe. The scene stuck out so much to me because I've felt it before. And it was a terrible feeling. I'm sure other people have felt something like this before when they have experienced trauma. Seeing George Floyd murdered. Hearing about the Atlanta spa shootings. Seeing trans rights taken away. Seeing another skull shooting. We share a post on social media. We talk to a friend. We stand up. We do something. We write letters for representatives. We attend protests and marches. We create art. We try to make something out of this trauma. But then we see meaningful change happening. Slowly, small steps, but it is change. It's good change. It's not enough, but it's better than nothing. And even if we start to lose hope, each action that we have taken in the past has a ripple effect. And even if we're not doing something, someone else is doing something, and it's influencing others. At first it might not seem like much, but it builds, and it builds, and it builds. And if we reach, we can grab the next. Go. No. Even if we feel hopeless, there's always hope. We create a better world. That's more equal for everybody. And I can keep, sta keep standing for what's right.